In this video, I'm gonna show how to do local rank tracking to track your local SEO efforts. Now, this is important for a few reasons. If you're doing SEO work on behalf of a client, local rank tracking is a great way to showcase progress. Uh, the visual is very nice and easy to understand, which we'll get into. Uh, even if you're doing this for your own business, it's really good to have an understanding of how you're ranking in the map results on Google. We find for local businesses, the map results can lead to 50% plus for conversions. So a lot of times the vast majority of your local leads uh, are gonna come from the, the map results. So really important to have a handle on this and to make sure you're trending in the right direction. So I'm gonna cover both free and paid options on how you can uh, track your map results to know if you're on the right track with your SEO. So first methods we're gonna get into are just free methods. Now this isn't the most scientific, it may not be the best method, but if you don't want to invest in a tool, you could simply just search your keyword. So in this case, storage units in Austin, Texas, scroll past the ads and then take a look at the map results. So this is what we're trying to track when we're doing local rank tracking. And if one of these is your business, you can just document in a spreadsheet where you're ranking. So this is kind of the way I used to do it before uh, I was using paid tools. I would put in the date, I would put in the keyword and just note where I, where I saw myself ranking in the maps. Again, you may wanna do this more often to get more of a true average, but if it's close enough, this could get you uh, started at the very least. You can make a chart in here as well, just by grabbing the date and grabbing the map rankings column and then clicking on the chart button. And you can play around with the formatting. But if you want a visual to go with this, to visualize the progress, this kind of Google Sheets dashboard can get you pretty far. Now, if you want to do this a little more accurately, what I recommend is SE Ranking has this Google Location Changer, which is completely for free. So all you need to do is put in your target keyword and then input the city to actually get a filter view of the search results. What's ni nice about this is you can also do near me keywords, which you can't do just on Google. If I search storage near me, I'm going to get m near my location, not necessarily where my client's located. So this is a great way to actually do that. And then now I can get the search results you'll see are all based on Austin, Texas. Now I'm gonna go back to do, uh, let's do, let's do Navasota, Texas here. And now if you don't see yourself in the top three of the maps here, what you would do is click more places and then you would document um, where you're actually ranking. So that's really the quickest and cheapest way to do rank tracking. Now, if you wanna level this up and automate this, you will need some type of tool. Uh, there's a lot of tool options. The ones I'm gonna to cover today are the ones I use most often, which will be SE Ranking, Local Falcon, and Bright Local. There's more tools to track local rankings than just those, but those are the ones that I use um, and like kind of how those tools are set up. Again, you could use any of these, but the important thing is that you have a plan and you're setting up an automation to track this. Now, the other thing that these tools give you is they give you this visual. This is a visual a lot of people like because you can send this screenshot to a client and it's pretty easy for them to visualize what's happening. What this is showing is where we're ranking in the maps at different locations around our address. So right here is our physical address and you can see the ones where we're ranking in position one or two. Anything in the top three will be green. You can see the ones that are close around position four. Uh, so this just shows kind of the overall opportunity and it's a great visual to send out to clients. But even if you're doing your own SEO, it's still good for you to know where there might be opportunities or where you're doing well. Now, this is aggregating all these different keywords I'm tracking. So I'm tracking a few different types of storage, a boat, RV, storage units. I'm doing a variety of keywords here. What you could also do is select one. So let's say I wanna see storage units in Navasota. Now I get the visual for that keyword, which is awesome. So now I can see, okay, this one I'm doing really well. There's only a little bit of opportunity left. There's a few that are yellow and only a couple that are in position two. I'm pretty much in position one in most spots. So this would be a great visual uh, to understand that what we're doing is working. Now I can go to a different keyword. Let's go to RV and then see how that one's doing. So this one's interesting. I'm ranking in position one, but then there's quite a few spots where I'm not ranking well. So I may want to investigate that. Um, so that's how um, I'll typically use this report is what I'll do typically is either take a screenshot of this visual um, and add it to one of my reports, or I can export and, and share a report with my clients that way. But typically I screenshot these and put them into my own, my own reporting. Now I can get all the keyword data and I can see week over week trends here as well. So like which keywords are going up, which ones are going down. So it looks like boat storage actually improved 0.4 spots. 
RV actually declined, so I may want to investigate that. So this is a really good way just to quickly see the trends. What this looks like in Local Falcon is like this. So again, pretty similar. It's one scan report here. It doesn't have the trends, but they have a separate report called Trend Report. This is a scan report. If I go to Trend Report, then I can see uh, the movement here. So I could now I can see a similar percent change for a few different metrics. If you hover over the metrics, typically Local Falcon will define what they are. Um, if you click on this, I could actually view the trend report. And then when I view the trend report here, it's gonna show me a visual of progress. And it'll show me the high level stats at the top here of what each of these are. So you can see if I click here, I can get the definition. So this is basically average ranking. Then I could see some of the competitors if they've increased or decreased, which is interesting. And then I get this visual here that I can click play on to see the progress. So in this one, not much progress uh, would be the takeaway. So there's, there's a little bit of movement there, but for the most part, this is one that needs a lot of work and you can see it on the visual. But here's the competitors. I can take a look at what they're doing and ultimately get a similar report where I can, again, a lot of different download options. I could also just take a screenshot of this um, and send that out to my client. Now, Bright Local has similar features as well. If we look at this one here, this is kind of what the scan can look like. Again, you could add more points on the scan. This one has a little bit less. Um, what I like about this one, it does give me a overview of the top 10, or in this case, top eight. And it actually gives me some competitor metrics, which are kind of nice to have at a glance, like number of reviews, star rating, how many backlinks, authority level, the categories they're using on their Google business profiles. So this can give you a little extra intel on maybe why you're not ranking as well. If we look at this one here, the rating on this one, 4.2, that needs some work. We can see a lot of the top 10 have a much better rating. This one has good authority, but then quantity as well we're seeing. So again, not perfect, but it can quickly give me some insights into, um, into uh, the various factors on what's, what's causing them to rank. So those are some of the, the things I look for with tools. I think, um, again, you could do, use some free options like we showed of just Googling it and just making your own spreadsheet. But I think getting access to this visual is nice if you really wanna level up your local SEO reporting. And even if you just wanna have a better handle on what's happening. Um, the ability to dig into specific keywords, to summarize them all as a whole, to look at trends. Um, these are the kind of tools that can just level up your SEO reporting. So, um, so that's pretty much it. I think uh, setting up local tracking as soon as possible for your local rankings is very important because you wanna start tracking this stuff before you're making major changes. If you make a bunch of changes first and then track this later, you won't really know if you improved. So really important before you actually start implementing your SEO strategy is set up your analytics, set up all your tracking tools. That way you can accurately see what's actually leading to the results. And then over time, that's gonna allow you to refine your focus and your strategy on what really moves the needle. So this kind of tracking is really critical for that. Uh, so if you have any questions about this kind of tracking, just leave it in the comments below and I'll be answering those uh, as they come in.